under the Star Pass Supercharger. Get some games. Video game cartridges at 9.95. You see, there has always been a push to get uh, game prices down below this ridiculous $50, you know, 50 euro mark. 2600 test system. Apparently, the ColecoVision kit controller, which looked to have some sort of um, make sure Atari 2600 VCS talk and teach. Because they look more like um, a tape recorder. <laughs> more peripherals. Family Fun Fitness Video Jogger. Darkon controller. Apparently they made less than a hundred of these for the 5200. And the Amiga Joy board for the 2600. Of course led to the Guru Meditation error. Another cartridge uh, selector. This time for the 2600. SpectraVision. Which is... Um, an Atari 5200 hotel console. Hmm, interesting. Playmate. Yep, normally when you think of a Playmate, this is exactly what, what comes to mind. A massive VHS console theatre thing from Japan. Some more television uh, demo items. Prototype cart. The infamous Revenge of the Jedi game. Game 1 and Game 2. I didn't realise there was two of them. Vision Dr. Pepper Hat. Another one of these uh, music synthesizer keyboards. God, they must have been super common. Let's treat them here. The Intellivision System Changer, which lets you play VCS games. Again, another concept you don't see today. You don't see, uh, you know, Xbox uh, System Changer for the PS3. An, an Intellivision development kit. It's quite a good showing of Intellivision stuff this year. Super Pro System. System 3 release. Of course, they're all basically the same thing with minor revisions. Very nice uh, television demo unit with TV there. These are interesting. Keys to the city, and the one on the left was awarded to Acclaim. Some trophies. The third official C Sega Seal of Quality. Product of the Year Game Gear, Mortal Kombat 2. So this must have been acquired when a claim, I'd say, went into liquidation. This is all acclaimed stuff. Very nice stuff to actually um, have for a museum. Electronics uh, Art 20th Anniversary Box. I wonder what's in that. Some sort of Pong trophy. Game Pro Best of Sound, Mortal Kombat on the SNES. Two 
to rock it looks like. Like a 15 minute long video. On this? No. Acclaim team to have gotten quite a few awards. I wonder how many they awarded themselves. Sorry, awards this time. Magazine covers, it seems. Electronic Game Monthly and Nintendo Power, Game Pro. Some standees. The Atari's engineering log sheet. Apparently this one is obsolete. Some more standees. Kaboom. And we have a CompuMate. Whatever that is. Never even heard of that one. Apparently Spectra Video is the only company that actually followed through with Dan's plans to release a peripheral that would turn the Atari 2600 into a computer. A video copier. Another video copier with a repro game kit. Topical debate. Plenty of video game badges. Of course I quite like the, the Now There Are No Limit Sega one. Some more badges and pins. Patches this time. Of course, it was a big thing to collect the Activision patches back in the day. Patches, we play certainly more recent. Fairly nice Sega one there, too. Nice Link one. Some game time watches. Some prototype PlayStation controllers and prototype PlayStation stuff. NBA Live. Again, more active or acclaim stuff. Prototype N64 game. That's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> Apparently this is the central processing unit chip for the Atari Jaguar 64-bit system. Some Atari 7800 production artwork. Underrated system if you ask me. Atari 7800 development board and prototypes. Genesis development boards. Link's prototype. Yeah, that's great. And then all this came out of the Which one? Remember the what one looks like nearly a turbo controller. <laughs> then we have a, a Game Boy Color prototype. The kind of the handheld section now with Mattel, soccer and things like that. Sub chase, Mattel football, baseball. Tall order collecting all of these. <laughs> and we have the Coleco Mini Arcades, Keybird, Pac Man, Frogger. Not too sure what that one that is actually. At the top, it must be a Japanese Pac Man. Uh, Galaxy and Donkey Kong and Miss Pac Man. Pink Panther. Crazy Kong. Yep. Yeah. 
Karatika, black belt. Now there sure are a lot of handles. <laughs> See they got the Smurfs, but nope, not not the one that I'm looking for. They're probably nearly as rare. Very game and watch looking these. It's more game watches. Very nice uh, Frogger, Sega published, and uh, Super Mario Bros. 3, Star Trek 2 to Radicon. Where's the first interchangeable handheld, the Microvision? Marlboro Lynx. Again, something you wouldn't see today. Or maybe maybe you would, you won't know. Prototype Lynx. Atari stereo board. 